Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. Let's talk about learn to drive and to pass the driving test. Let's talk about your journey to learn to drive and to pass the driving test. Let's start the lesson. Firstly, let's talk about why you need to learn to drive. So what's the reason? Why do you need to learn to drive? Do you have to learn to drive? Or can you live without learn to drive? First of all, I want you to get that answer to why you need to learn to drive. And why is it important to get the answer for that? It's because the journey of learning is not going to be easy. You're going to have bad days. You're going to have challenging days. And for you to overcome those days, you need to know why you started in the first place. If it's important for you to learn to drive, hard days will become easier because you know why you started, you know what you are getting. So it is important for you to know why you need to learn to drive. The answer to why is so much important. I think if you get that importance in your head, the journey of learning and passing will become easier. Trust me, I know because I've done few things in life and I know that when I start the journey of doing something new, if I make it important why I need to learn this, the journey becomes easy because I know what I'm going to achieve. I know what this is going to, going to give me. I know what this journey is going to give me at the end. If at the end the gift is important and the gift is valuable, then the journey will become easy. Okay? So why do you need to learn to drive? What is this driving going to give you? What the license going to give you? Why do you need to learn? Get that in your head. Make sure you get a clear vision what the driving is going to give you. The driving is going to give you many different opportunities. It's going to open many doors for you. You could, you could go to wherever you want, whenever you want. You could go to visit your family, visit your friends. You could go to work. You could help your business, whatever business that you do. Take your children to wherever they want to go. Maybe football, maybe basketball, maybe swimming, wherever they want to go. So this driving is going to help you in many different ways in your life. And it's going to improve your life in many different ways because you know how to drive and you have a license. I want you to think in your head, is this driving license going to be any value to your life? Because if it is going to be valuable and if you put the license maybe two miles away, the journey from here to two miles, it could be difficult, but it will overcome. It will make it easier to reach that two mile at the end. Why? Because you know at the end of it, I'm getting the license. So as you are walking or running or jogging to the license, if it's difficult for you, if you are tired, you'll pick yourself up and motivate yourself knowing at the end of it, I'm going to get my license. And that's how it has to be. Why did you start in the first place? Because my destination over there is my license. Because if you just start knowing, oh, I need my driving, because everyone gets it. I'm just going to go and try to see if I could learn and pass. If you have that mentality, halfway you might give up. Why? Because it wasn't important for you in the first place. Mentally, if you're not ready, the parts of your body is not going to work as they should. Okay? If you want every part of your body to work with you, with your mind, in your mind, you need to make this driving important. You need to make that an important part of your life. If you don't, trust me, learning halfway, you might want to give up. The giving up in your mind is coming because it is not that important to you. It wasn't when you started. So the foundation of you learning to drive and to passing is to is to answer to the question why you are starting in the first place make sure you know why this driving is important to you once you know that's when you start the journey so make sure the foundation is strong you know exactly why you are learning and why you need to pass the test now secondly we need to find a good driving instructor now the best way to find a good driving instructor is to ask your friends and your family who they've learned with and get recommendation. So if they've learned from someone, they would know whether they had a good driving instructor or not. Or ask in your social media, ask in Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Ask someone, ask your friend, do they know anybody in your town who is a good driving instructor? Best way to get a good driving instructor is by recommendation. If you know somebody who they've learned with and if they know they had a good driving instructor, that's the best way. 
now sometimes good instructors are busy okay you might have to wait for weeks or maybe a few months if i were you i would do that it's better than just getting someone who you don't get along with who's no good for you and you just waste your time and money and then move on anyway okay so if i were you i would wait so if someone recommends to you a good driving instructor you give them a call and if they say they're busy for a few months i would wait i would say to them please book me a lesson when you are free and from then onwards we will start our lesson whether it's few weeks away few months away i would do that if i were you don't rush and be patient this learning journey i just want you to learn the process enjoy the process and be patient in the process nothing comes easy no good things comes to your plate easily you have to go through the process to learn to drive and pass the driving test and in anything actually in life okay and this driving is no different okay so first of all recommendation find a good driving instructor and if they're busy wait until they are free then go with them then comes your theory test now my recommendation is when you start to learn to drive start learn to drive as well as do the theory same time why because when you're learning when you are reading the theory and then when you're having driving lessons it will make more sense what you are reading sometimes when you're reading it doesn't make sense because you don't drive you're not a driver yet i'm not saying you shouldn't do the theory before you start to drive yes of course you should do that but i'm saying it makes it more easier makes it more sense if you do both same time so do the theory as well as start to learn to drive at the same time and when it comes to driving lessons i would say minimum two hours per week so have one lesson for two hours every week if you can that's the best way to learn that's the minimum if you're going to have more than that then have two lessons two hours each per week one hour lessons are okay but you don't learn much in one hour lessons why because by the time you start doing something so the instructor comes to you picks you up go somewhere explain a task or a subject and then you go and do the subject by the time you start learning the one hour is gone because they have to take you back to your address again so hour and a half or two is best per lesson your second hour is always learning you are learning more because first hour is all about explaining and getting used to it what you are about to do second hour is always best so two hour per lesson is best minimum one lesson for two hours a week if not two lessons two hours each now when it comes to the theory test the day you start to study for theory that's when you apply for a test and book a test minimum two weeks away if not whenever is available okay i know it's busy at the moment to get a test day booked but if you don't book a test and you think that i'm going to read and i'm going to get ready then i'm going to apply you're just not going to do it you're just going to leave it and think that i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it tomorrow you're not going to push yourself when we have a date we know there is a test day coming up it will push us to do more it will push us to study more that's how we are whenever we have a deadline we work better so if i were you the day i start to study for theory that's when i will apply for a test so you know you've got a test day coming up and you will push yourself to study so study theory get a test day booked and do your lesson along the way both the theory and the learning same time also when you're studying your theory if there's a question you don't understand you could always ask your driving instructor so that's another good thing doing both same time now what it takes for you to become a driver the things that you need to learn the things that you will be learning the things it takes for you to become a driver and to pass a driving test you need to know a map you need to know what is it in that you need to learn and if I were you I would take a course there are many courses out there where you could take where you learn online what the learning is all about you learn all the theory you learn to know all the lessons and if I were you I would get a course I would buy a course and as you know we do a course online course you could join our course which gives you everything you need to learn from day 1 to the day that you pass your driving test everything and the course is designed in a structured all in a systematic order so you know what you are learning and what you will be learning so the course gives you everything a learner needs to learn to drive and to pass the driving test you could always join our course if not there are other courses out there you could join but my advice to you would be join a course 
which will give you everything you need to learn. And if I were you, I would go through those lessons. I would learn all those theories. So then when I go to the lesson with my driving instructor, it makes it easier for us to learn the subject. Why? Because we already know the theory. Okay? Without a course, you learn, for example, all the things you learn in my course, you will have it on online. You will have it free on YouTube. But you will be learning randomly. You don't know what the things that you need to learn. The course gives you everything in a systematic order. It's designed to make it easier for learners. So you know exactly which lessons you need to learn. And that's the good thing about having a course. Okay? So if I were you, I would join a course and I would learn the theory from the course so that when I go and learn with my driving instructor, the lessons becomes easy for me. Now, hopefully by now, you've done maybe two or three or four weeks driving lessons and you should be ready now for your theory test. And hopefully you've already have a test day booked and you should be going to the test. Go to your theory test and make sure you are fully ready for the test and hopefully you've passed your theory. If you do fail, no problem. Just make sure you book another one and go and pass your theory. Once you've done your theory, by then, hopefully, you've already done maybe six or seven weeks of driving lessons. And if you do the test any earlier, maybe four lessons you've already done. So now, hopefully, you know how to drive the car, you know how to stop the car, you know how to change gear, you know how to do the steering. So you now have an idea where you are going, what the driving is all about. And hopefully the course that you have is telling you everything you need to learn to drive and to pass the driving test. If you have a good driving instructor and if you're learning quite quickly, instructor should be able to tell when hopefully roughly you're going to be ready for your driving test. And as we all know, getting a test day book nowadays is quite difficult. It's not easy, but by now, hopefully, your instructor should be able to, able to know and able to tell you that you should book a test maybe two, three, four months away. So you are looking advanced, knowing hopefully if you have lessons, one or two lessons a week, you should be able to do your test in about three months, in about four months. So you book a test. So what you are doing is you are doing everything in a way so that everything is happening naturally. You're not feeling that you are waiting for something. So you don't have to be fully ready and then go for the test. Your instructor should be able to know roughly when you're going to be ready. And then he or she should advise you to book a test maybe two, three, four, five months away. And hopefully by then you are fully ready and go to the test. So when you reach a point where you know how to control the car by yourself, that's when you should consider having maybe lessons with your friends or your family. That way, it will help you to learn quicker and get more experience knowing that I could drive myself without my driving instructor. If you just have lessons with the driving instructor, no problem, you will learn and you will pass, but it will take you, you will need more lessons with the driving instructor because you're not getting any lessons outside with the driving instructor. You're not having any other lesson. If you have it with your friends or family, this will help you to get the experience of learning driving on the road, driving independently without any help from driving instructor. Obviously, you're going to have your friends or your family telling you or helping you a little bit, but it doesn't mean that they are your driving instructor. Mentally, you will know that it will give you the confidence. It will inspire you knowing I could do, I could drive without my driving instructor, without the dual control on my car. So if you can, it will hugely help you if you could have some lessons on the side with your family members, with your friends. Just make sure the car is insured. And as you know, we work with a company, Go Shorty, who does short-term insurance. So if you want to have lessons with your family or your friend, you could get your car insured maybe for an hour or two hours or three hours or for a week, up to 28 days. So Go Shorty is a short-term insurance. And whenever you need maybe an hour or two hours to get your car insured, you could use them. I will leave a link on the description. If you need to use, if you need to insure your car for a few hours or a few days, you could use them. So if you can have lesson with your family members or friends, it will help you to get that experience on the road driving. Now, as you are learning and you are reaching near to the end, you are reaching to go to your driving test. Mentally, make sure you prepare yourself driving independently. Prepare yourself. The person who's helping me, my driving instructor, I'm trying to cut them off and I'm doing things by myself. 
Make sure mentally you prepare yourself. Become an independent driver. Become a person who, who's driving without any help from anyone. It's all about mental prepared. Preparation mentally will help you more to become independent. Okay? So as you reach and your test is coming up or you are in the level of nearly ready for your driving test, make sure prepare your mind that you are driving independently. Try to do things by yourself. Try to ask the question when you're driving, answering it by yourself. So if there's a problem, ask the question to your mind and see if you got the answer. If you haven't, ask your driving instructor. So before you ask, always ask yourself. Many times when we are learning something new when it comes to driving as well, is that there is a problem and we're not asking. Trust me, many times you got the answer, you're just not asking to your mind. Ask yourself if there's a problem there. So you're driving along and there's no space for two cars. Maybe there's parked cars on both sides. Ask the question, can I go? You'll know you'll have the answer. Oh yes, I can, the space is there, or I can't, or I am not sure. You'll know. But because you're not asking, you're not getting the answer. So the best way to become an independent driver is to ask yourself in every situation, you will have the answers and then start driving and become independent. So it is very important for you to become mentally prepared to become an independent driver, okay? Because the whole purpose of your learning is to become independent, isn't it? That's the purpose, right? It's not just passing the driving test. It's all about becoming independent, becoming myself. I am driving without any help from anyone. That is the aim, isn't it? That is what you're trying to achieve. If you could do that, you'll pass your test flying colors. So mentally, make sure you prepare yourself to become independent. Ask the question to yourself and answer it by yourself. When you are wrong, your instructor will help you. And if you don't have the answer, ask the driving instructor. But become independent, that's what I'm trying to say. Now, regards to becoming independent, before the driving test, make sure you have at least one, if not few, mock tests. I highly recommend for you to take mock test before your driving test. Why? Because that will give you a picture in your mind how the test is like, how to drive by yourself without any help. You will get to know where the problems are coming from when you are doing things by yourself. So have at least one mock test, if not few, before your driving test. This will help you to know how independently you are driving without any help from anyone. So I highly recommend for you to do at least one mock test, if not few, before your driving test. So now is the day of your driving test. Hopefully, by now, you've reached to do your driving test. And maybe you are nervous. You think you're not ready. I'm never going to do this. Or I can't do this anymore. You're going to have a lot of questions in your mind. But that's fine, okay? As long as you are ready, as long as you know what you're doing, as long as you know how to drive the car, control the car by yourself, you are fully ready. If your instructor said to you, you're ready, then you're ready, okay? You need to start to believe you can, okay? If your instructor is allowing you to go to the driving test with their car, then you know you are ready. They're never going to risk giving their key of their car for you to drive by yourself, in the driving test they're not going to risk that okay so if they allow you to do that you should have the confidence knowing i can drive the car by myself so on the day of a driving test what's it going to be like your instructor is going to come pick you up maybe an hour before your driving test okay make sure you are ready for the test so wake up early go for a walk have a shower have a breakfast it will give you the energy okay and then don't think too much about the driving test by now you should already know everything Okay, so the instructor will come about an hour before. Make sure you take your driving license with you because without your license, you can't do your driving test. So make sure you take the license with you. Instructor comes, go for an hour. If no, hour and a half is good because then you are more relaxed doing everything. But mostly, most people do one hour. I recommend for you to do maybe hour and a half before your driving test. So you're not rushing to do everything. And I would drive on a busy road, quiet road, I would do all the parkings, do all the maneuvers, do few things that I feel doubt on, that I feel I need to work on. Maybe roundabouts, maybe parking, maybe a maneuver, maybe bay parking, parallel parking. Something that I feel I need to work on a little bit more, I would do that before the test. Go through the, the questions and the answers. Show me, tell me questions. Make sure you get to know your car. Make sure you know how to open the bonnet so you are fully ready for the test. So you've done all that. 
10 minutes before your test, you will go in to the test center. So before you go in, just relax. Make sure that mentally you are ready and that's it. There's nothing you can do. You can only do what you know. So go to the test and do what you know. You go to the test center, you wait, examiner comes out, calls your name, you go and you say, that's me. You sign the declaration for insurance purpose. Examiner asks you, go and show me your car. You say, this is my car. You go into your car and then examiner will ask maybe one question before the test and then the test will start and you'll drive for at least 38 to 40 minutes. That's all. When you're doing the test, there are many things you're going to do you're not going to be happy with. That's fine. Don't give up. Because then you'll realize you gave up and you didn't fail for that. You fell for something after. So if I were you, whatever happens in the test, keep going, do your best. And at the end, the examiner will tell you whether you passed or you fell. It is not your job to judge whether you pass or you fail halfway the test. Whatever you do, you keep on going, giving your 100%. At the end, whatever happens, you accept. If you pass, congratulations. If you fail, no problem. All you do is book another one and you go back. That's all you could do and that's what you are going to do. Just because you failed, hopefully you don't. If you do, I don't want you to give up. I don't want you to think that, oh, that's it. I can't do it anymore. You fail, it doesn't mean you can't drive. It just means something happened on the day. You made a mistake and you failed. And it could happen. If, it, if you do fail, is that mean you're going to waste all the journey you came to the test for? Don't forget why you started in the first place. What is this license going to give you? The driving is going to give you. You failed? Okay, no problem. I'm going to book another one and I'm going to go back and I'm going to give my 100% again and I'm going to pass hopefully. Because that's all you could do. That's the best you could do. So to conclude, make sure in the beginning you know why you started. Make sure you have the answer to why you are starting to learn to drive. Make sure you know that. Make sure you are prepared mentally why you started to learn to drive, okay? Secondly, go through the process like I said and then at the end you will pass and I truly wish you all the best. I truly wish you all the best and I hope this learning becomes easy for you and I hope you pass your driving test and go and do well in life, whatever you do. I hope this helped. If you like the video, please do give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And hope to see you again on the next video. Bye for now.